Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign army in the Philippines. Doing a little wander around this morning. Seeing how all the pigs are doing. Bouncing's hard at it over there. That's a pretty comfy pig right there. Those roundheads there are going to town. This is the new surprise here. Lovely May had her piglets. That is a spotted up bunch right there. Looks like she had a litter of Dalmatians instead of pigs. <laughs> Look at those little guys. Very cute little piglets. I was saying in the video I made yesterday that Lovely May was very quick, uh, very near. Look at them. She's had nine, I'm told. And they're an energetic bunch. This is Lovely May's second litter, I'm thinking. I forget exactly how many she had last time. I think it was a, a decent enough litter. And she was a good mom. She didn't lose any. I do. I knew know that. <clears throat> I go over the notes on these sows periodically. Lovely May got her name because Lovely May was here helping Maricel with his piggery early on. And the girls, uh, <laughs> they named the, the pigs, that was, every pig that we had at that time, they gave a name to. And there were two boars, and so they named them Brian and Dwayne. Uh, Dwayne is Lovely Mays. At that time, it was her fiance, her now husband. Uh, they named Mars for Maricel, Lovely May for Lovely May. We had a few other pigs other than that, but they just those are the ones they named. They picked out favorites. She's a good mom. And her piglets will do well because they, they've all figured out that that's where the, the buffet bucket is right there. They're all nursing, all getting after it. Lovely May turned out to be the good mom. Mars, not so much. Uh-oh. Now they're fighting over the boobs. There's plenty on the other end, guys. No, no need to be fighting down here. But as you can see, half of them are going to look just like her and the other half just like their dad. Looks like we need a little repair in this pen. What did you do, huh? What did you do? You broke that end down over there. Broke this end right here. How you doing, sweetie? Hmm? How you doing? Hmm? Oh, Petunia. You know Petunia? See that banana tree right there? That one's growing. And that one's growing. So you'll soon have a supply close to your pen here. Yeah, you will. I'm going to go around and 
check on Mars's bunch to make sure she hasn't dispatched another one of her piglets. Playing in the water. These three little piglets continue to do well. Yeah, Mars still has her seven. It's a shame we got to get rid of her. I mean, look at that little pig right there. That is a prime porker. Long, big fat behind for big hams, big shoulders. I mean, all her piglets are just, you know, good examples, but she just is not really interested in raising them. Go back around here and look at the little piglets. check and see if that sow's back on her feet again. I gotta go check that. I was not here all day yesterday because I was down painting on the boat and that's where I'm going again shortly. So <coughs> if Wowie came yesterday, our vet tech, I missed him. <coughs> And this sow's still not eating much. But you're up and around and you're talking to me, so are you feeling a little bit better, huh? Well, you still have a fever. Yes, you do. Well, it's a pretty good fever, too. Just not feeling good, huh? Yeah. Just don't feel good. Well, at least she's up and moving. It's still a big concern that she's not eating. Mm, kind of do my test to see how well she's feeling. And give her a banana leaf and see if she'll take it. Would you like a banana leaf? Yeah. Well, it's not that bad, huh? And I can see she's had some feed on her snout here. So she has eaten some. It's just uh, she just don't feel good. So we closely monitor her. Every time I come by, I'll check her temperature. You know, from being a dad all those years, raising kids and raising pigs, and I can tell with my hand pretty close how high of a temperature a mammal has. And I'm guessing from feeling her, it's about 105, 100.5, 101. I don't know what that is in Celsius. But that's pretty high. So we'll keep an eye on her. You've got a curly tail. You're a curly tailed little pig. Yes, you are. It's okay, love to me. It's okay. She's had some good looking little piglets. Get on around there and get you a snack. See how she got up? She didn't even really want to roll to her left because she knew her piglets were there. And so she moved around, made a big deal of it so that her piglets would know that she's moving. 
And that's just a sign of a good mom. What a good mom you are, lovely May. It's a good pig. Yeah, you're a good pig. See, she does nothing fast. She got up on her forelegs, looked around a little bit, held that position for three or four seconds, and then she got up. Would you like a banana leaf? Hmm? Hmm? There you go. I'm going to have consing. Yeah, maybe I'll just do it. I'm going to go get these guys a, a bag of rice holes and throw in here. I mean, this pan isn't saturated, isn't really wet, but it's a little bit low in that corner. Well, it's a little bit high on this end, but that's kind of the way she's rooted things around. But I'm going to put a bag of rice holes in here, make them a little more comfy. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.